Hey, what's up you guys? This is John Chacon with Austin Performance Fitness. We are in our new place and uh, just got done with a workout. This was this morning uh, with a friend of mine in the park and then just did some heavy trap bar deadlifts. Felt good. I also have a slice in my knee. Um, so, and it's not from surgery. I actually hit it with a box cutter, uh, but it's healing. So if you see this band around my knee when I do this stuff, that's what happened. So. Um, I just want to show, share with you guys today um, something that I just used right before this workout. I've been doing a lot of work doing constant movements throughout the week, cutting things, moving things, lots of pulling, hitting, trying to get this place ready. Um, we've, been doing, we've been stripping the floors, we've been cutting turf uh, and rubber mats and all that stuff, just this consistent movement in this flexed position with the arm and pulling. I developed like some some really like it hits sometimes in my elbow really bad, just really tight, painful, sharp pain. Um, and so today to get rid of that, I finally had it. You know, I've been kind of lazy about it because I've been working so hard all week, just hours and hours and hours, and then I get home, I'm just like I'm done. Um, it wasn't anything that kept me awake or anything like that. But today before my workout, I thought I am going to smash this thing. But I thought, hey, what better way to um, to 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 use this than to help others and to help you guys get out of elbow pain. Now this isn't the only thing that's gonna help get rid of elbow pain. It can be tied to a lot of things. I want you guys to remember that your elbow is tied to every muscle joint or muscle ligament and tendon going up or downstream and upstream from that joint, okay? Now today, I just happened to find out that my problem for my elbow stems from the inside of my tricep. And when I smash that area, it's extremely tight, extremely sore, almost painful, uh, nothing's torn or anything like that, but I smashed it, okay? What I, what I mean by that is I literally massaged that tissue as hard as I could. I used the softball because I can get, I can get nice and deep with the lacrosse ball, but with the softball, it allows me to get more clearance above the ground and mess around with it a little bit. So when I did it, hopefully I can get enough space for you guys here. Here's the ball, okay? So from here, what I started doing first, guys, because I didn't know where the pain was coming from, so I started fishing around. I want you guys to get used to exploring your business, okay? Look around, find that area, smash some stuff. Even have a friend smash your tissue. Okay, what I did is I started fishing around for it, moved, started way upstream on my tricep. I had some tightness, but it wasn't anything extreme. Fish around, fish around. I'm all sweaty right now. Boom, right there, I got it, okay? Super sore, at least before I began my workout. And so I just put tons of pressure down on it. I moved slowly and deliberately, smashing it and smoothing it out until I released the tension from that muscle tissue at least as, as much as I could at that point. I didn't spend too much time on it, guys. This took me all of five, maybe 10 minutes. Spent a lot of time just smashing, fishing around some more, looking to find out where that was. I even took my thumb, kind of smashed it in there, the best way you know if something's tight, guys, is it's gonna be hurt. It's gonna hurt. Um, it's gonna be a little sore. Your tissue should not be sore when you touch it most of the time. People grab you, you grab yourself all the time. Throughout the day, you shouldn't be hurting, okay? But if you hit something that's sensitive, ah, there's a good chance that that tissue is tight, okay? So, unfortunately, you need to smash it, cause a little more pain, you get rid of some of that pain. Once you do, though, once I got that tissue lengthened out, okay, and it wasn't as tight and yanking on that elbow, I want to put my elbow back in a good position. First, I restored the sliding surfaces on those on that muscle tissue. So now those, those are sliding better and they're lengthening better, they're stretching. Now I want to put that elbow back in a good position because that all the tightness in that tricep has been yanking it back, okay? So, or yanking it out of a good position. So I want to put it in a good position and I want to move my arm through that position, through a good range of motion with the elbow reset in that position. Something I use to put elbows and wrists, knees, ankles back into a good position and hips is I just use a simple band. I just hooked it up to a stable surface onto a rack right here. I'm going to put it at the base of the elbow at the very top of the forearm, okay? So it's not going on my bicep, it's going at the base. So if you look at it from the side, yeah, I know you can see it just barely, but it's going to be pulling straight back, okay? So I'm going to angle myself directly in front of this post and having that pull back. Now, if you all know the way I do push-ups, 
I rotate my biceps and the crooks of my elbows forward, okay? So that's all I'm doing. I'm going from the outside, going in. Rotating in, and I'm keep, I keep moving that elbow joint through that range of motion until I get that joint in a good position. I kept doing this and moving, moving my elbow, bending, flexing, extending the elbow until I got it in a good position, okay? After I did that for a little while, I did that for probably about anywhere from 10 to 20 repetitions, nice and slow, again, bringing that elbow forward, putting it in a good position. At the same time, that band was distracting that elbow to the back, giving it a good position so it wasn't getting impinged by those, those tight tissues, okay? Once I got that, in order to test that, to make sure it worked, I put myself in a good push-up position where this was hurting me this morning when I was doing uh, kettlebells. Before on that push-up, come all the way up. It's about half as tight as it was before I started. Then, I, you better believe it, I went back to it, smashed some more, put in that distraction, went back at it. Before I knew it, I was able to do my workout pain-free, no elbow pain, it was great. Um, and so I'm gonna continue to smash it this weekend until um, it's just gone, okay? so. Just know that those things can happen, guys. If you're in a job, especially where you are doing a lot of repetitive mo mo motion with your arms, with your limbs, shoulders, wrists, elbows, hips, knees, ankles, it's going to cause some tightness because it's getting overused, and especially if you're not getting full range of motion, which a lot of us don't in our jobs. So smash that tissue, put it in a good position, test it until you get it right, until that pain goes away and you can move freely, okay? So just want to share that with you guys. Hopefully that'll help you with some elbow pain that you have in the future so you don't have to suffer what I had to. Okay, so I'll be talking to you guys soon. Enjoy your weekends. This is John Chacon with Austin Performance Fitness, johncacon.com. Stronger every day. Peace.